Hi, beautiful souls. If you're new to my channel, my name is Kimiana. So welcome here is where we talk about all things manifesting. So law of attraction, law of assumption, mental health, those are the vibes here. So if you enjoy that, hit the like, hit the comment section below. Tell me what you enjoyed about the video once it's over. Sub and hit the gray bell. Let's get into this, guys. You want to watch all the way through to the end so you don't miss out on a thing. Now, today I'm talking about how to feel emotions while manifesting. Now, you don't need to feel emotions while you're manifesting. I want to get that clear before I even start this video, okay? The title is actually misleading, and I'm going to tell you guys why, okay? I, I made the title the way it was because a lot of people feel they need to feel these amazing emotions to manifest. So I want to nip that in the bud. It's not clickbait. It's just misleading. And the reason why I say it's misleading is because I want to make it clear to the people who feel that they have to feel emotions to manifest that you don't. That's why I titled it the way I did, because I want you to know full and wholeheartedly that you are capable of manifesting without any emotion. Here are my facts. Number one, we manifest every single day, despite any emotion we have, whether we're mad, whether we're angry, whether we're sad, whether we're happy, whether we're excited, whether we're bored, whether we're just there, okay? We manifest all the time because that is what we were meant here. This is what we were sent here to do. We are meant to create. We are meant to manifest. We are meant to do what God asked us to do, create. Okay. That's all we do. That's what somebody created the chair I'm sitting on right now. Somebody created the mic I'm talking into right now. Somebody created the monitor I'm looking at. Somebody created the cam. Somebody created my flowers. Somebody created everything we look at, everything we experience in our daily, everyday life was created. And guess who it was created by? A human. And so us as humans, it's almost like our and we need to understand our power. It's like our it's like our duty. It's like required as your existence as a human to understand the concept of creation, to understand that you are an infinite being experiencing this wonderful thing we call life, okay? And so your duty, your sole duty every single day of your life, whether you believe it or not, is to create. And based off our creations is the world we live in today. So in somebody's world, they believe the world is happening to them. And they are right. That is why they experience things that happen to them that they don't want and they do want because they just think, it's a do it's a dice kind of thing. You roll the dice and you see what you land on. They think that's basically how people like that think. They think every day they roll the dice and whatever it lands on, that's the day they're going to have. So if they have a shitty day, they just think, oh, I rolled the dice when I woke up this morning. It was going to be whatever it was going to be. And that's how it is. No, that's not how life is. You actually get the option to choose what you want to believe for one, but not just that. You also get the option to choose to say, hey, I'm going to have a good day today. No matter what, I'm having a good day today. Okay? So, yeah. Fact number two. All right? <laughs> After you understand that, it's also important to remember that when we manifest, it's not about not even knowing about the manifestation manifesting. It's just generalization of manifesting. Manifesting, you, you do that every day. You do that with your thoughts. You do that with your belief system. You do that with your assumptions. So, when you are actively learning about the law of assumption and the law of attraction, it's important to note that law of assumption states we are what we assume. So whatever you assume the most of is what you are. So if you assume that you're loved by everyone and that you're valued, then that's exactly what you're going to get from people is be a lot of love and a lot of value. Um, if you believe that you're sought after and you're cherished by your specific person, that's exactly what you're going to get from your specific person. But people where they fall short and the reason they feel like they don't manifest what they want is because they don't really get to the nitty gritty of whatever their subconscious mind is struggling with. Because we have to remember this is decades of unlearning that you are doing. Most of us have spent decades of understanding that life is happening to us. So when you learn about the law of assumption, it is a game changer, especially if you're open enough and have an open mind to believe it. Um, when you start learning of your capabilities and that you can create the life that you live, it is vital to understand that be easy on yourself. This is a process. You're not going to just wake up one day and be like, oh, I'm the best manifester in the world. You will if you keep saying that for 90 days straight. But what I'm trying to tell you guys is, you know, when you have days of what we would consider an F up, when you have days where you're overly emotional or you have days where you're super sad, that doesn't affect your manifesting. The only thing that affects is that y how you feel while you're manifesting. That's what it affects. 
Your emotions are a determiner of where you're at in your life, okay? And so a lot oftentimes what we forget and what we don't understand is although grief is sad, although anger sucks, these emotions are there for us to understand that we are not aligned with source energy and the sooner we get aligned with source energy, we will feel better. And so basically what source energy is, is understanding the God within you, that you are capable of changing anything, even perspectives that seem awful, even 3D results that suck. Okay, you are fully capable of changing them and you don't need to have high vibrational emotion to do so. All you have to do is tap into your powers and understand the gifts that you've been given in this life. All right. Number three, fact number three, darlings. Okay. Once we got all that laid out on the table, it is important to know if you choose to use emotion when manifesting it is possible to get faster results. Do you have to use emotion to get faster results? No, because you can robotic affirm any day for the rest of the day of your life, 365 days straight, and I guarantee you before you even get halfway through the year, you will already believe whatever it is you've been manifesting based off just what you've been saying for literally six months, okay? I kid you not. It does work that way. You can robotically affirm that, hey, my specific person is addicted to me, my specific person's addicted to me, my specific person's addicted to me. That can be your affirmation for the rest of your freaking flipping flapping life, okay? I, give, I guarantee you half of that year, you will see some things that have popped up in the 3D that show you why your person is addicted to you and why they manifested in your life because you robotically affirm. Robotically affirming is just you determining this is my belief system and you're telling your brain that, your brain is soaking it in and the subconscious mind believes it to be true because you do it and you say it that much because it has became a habit just like you brush your teeth every morning, just like you take a shower every day. It is now, an, it's a habit. It's a habit that you have formed and now your brain is rewiring the thought process that you used to have. And when it does that, you now have a belief system that actually works and that's why you feel better, you feel more confident, you feel like your higher self is kicked in a little bit more because you tapped into your gift and that is your gift. So do not forget that, okay? So that is one way to go about it. The other way to go about it is to say, hey, I'm gonna do robotic affirming or visualization or meditating or scripting. I'm gonna use whatever technique I want, whichever is my favorite, or I'll use all of them or I'll use some of them. And what I'll do actively is make sure I feed my subconscious mind what I want by listening to subliminals, listening to meditations, listening to rampages, and getting what I need for my brain to match up to what I'm manifesting, okay? And so that's the second option. And with that option, if you choose to say, hey, I'm gonna do a guided meditation that makes me feel so good and makes me feel so happy and it makes me feel so excited to manifest, that's great, do that, make that choice. But you don't need it to manifest. You don't need it to get what you want faster. Now, if you choose the route of feeling good, feeling happy, living in your end to manifest, that's fine too. There's nothing wrong with that. You have guided meditations that are easily accessible, even on my channel and others on YouTube, where you can do these guided meditations. They bring you straight to happiness. And you may feel good for the rest of the day. That's why meditation is good for the mind. It's good for the soul. And it's good for the spirit. That is why it is proven factually, you know, intellectually, and to everybody else who doesn't quote unquote believe. Meditation is useful. That's why. Okay. So I hope by the end of this video, you have realized that, oh, I don't need a lot of emotion to manifest. No, you don't. But if it's there, cool. If you feel like it feels good to be happy and manifest, cool. That's great. It's going to get you there too. They're both going to get you there. If not just as fast, you just have to choose which one works for you. So no, this isn't a clickbait video. This is you understanding your power and realizing that you don't need a ton of emotion to get what you want. Emotions always there. You're human. They're supposed to be there. But when you get yourself in a vibration that we would call normal, then normal can do whatever you want it to do. Okay. Whether you're mad, whether you're upset, whether you're sad, or whether you're happy. You know, you know what I'm saying? You catch my drift? Cool. If you guys like this video, let me know in the comment section below. If you made it this far, you are now an intuitive soul gym. Welcome to the intuitive soul tribe. We love you. Please hit the like, the comment below what you thought about this video and sub to the channel. Hit the gray bell so you can be notified when my videos post, guys. All right. If you really want to manifest super, super fast and you have not been able to and it has just been sucking, get the manifest everything journal. You are going to love the power of this journal. That's why it's called manifest everything because you will manifest everything. You will see 
see how you get everything you want in your life easily. You will see how fast it is for you to get results with your SP or just anything in general that you're trying to manifest. I have very powerful techniques in here that I use all the time that help me manifest. And on top of that, I have very powerful affirmations that you are going to love. They are going to change the trajectory of your life quickly. All right. So check that out. The link is in the description. If you guys need any coaching, I do offer that. You can book a session with me. I do have different packages listed below that you can access to get more guidance on manifesting. And if you haven't already, guys, join the VIP Soul Jimmy Lights group. You will be able to have access to all of our 12-part series on manifesting. We do member-only lives every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Zone. And we also share affirmations and a lot of other strategies and techniques that help us manifest and they get results instantly. So if you want results instantly, and you've been really struggling, click the join link below this video. It should say join. If you don't see it, it's also in the description and you can click that to join our VIP Soul Jimmy Lights group as well. I look forward to seeing you inside. I'm seeing you guys so much love, so much light. And as I always tell you guys, go get your boo and go get your moolah. Bye.